Blade Star Sire scheme was developed to identify calves, to make sure that the dairy farmers had an option to, to purchase semen from high genetic, good quality bulls, but not, not only would they give them high yielding, good quality milk, but they would also give them added value with their calves. And it makes it easier for us as a business to then identify those calves and select them on farm so that we know that we're buying better genetic calves with better genetic capability to turn into good quality beef um, when they end up in the abattoir. Currently in the UK we're only less than 80% self-sufficient in terms of beef production and dairy uh, beef is forming a greater proportion of the beef consumed so 15 years ago 65% uh, of our beef was coming from the suckler herd and about 35% from the dairy herd uh, and if you look at that today it's about 50-50 so dairy plays a more important role in our total uh, UK beef production at, at present. We've ranked bulls are in the, already in the top echelons of the breed, so we've put in minimal criteria for a blade star sire. He has to be high on overall PLI, really good on type, good on lifespan, good on somatic cell counts, all the traits that really matter, because we understand that the dairy farmer's number one criteria is to make replacement heifers for his dairy farm. The bull calves are a byproduct, but clearly by a little bit of, of sire selection within those elite group of bulls, you can actually get more Holstein bulls that are suitable for, for beef. We did some work with Blade Farming a few years ago where we had uh, different breeds including Holsteins uh, from different production backgrounds, different ages and we've, we sorted them at uh, Langport, we took the meat back to Bristol and we evaluated them using the taste panel at Bristol. It's a group of people who measure the tenderness, juiciness and flavour and we found that the eating quality of the Holstein beef was very good and at least as comparable with that from other breeds. And in fact, when, when the Holsteins had grown quickly and when they were relatively young, that was when the best beef uh, was obtained. And this is what uh, uh, Southern Counties will be doing in this current work. So I think the growth rate of those animals and the young age of them will produce good eating quality beef. Uh, we have 1,500 acres, family partnership with two sons. Half is devoted to arable and half to grass. And it consists of beef and sheep for fat lamb production. The beef is two enterprises, bull beef using Holstein Frisians and a traditional beef where we have them graze at grass and then fatten them either off grass or in the sheds on a maize silage ration. Well the, uh, the calves from the dairy herd have an important role to play in terms of if we have a better bred calf with better genetics it has a greater potential uh, to make a suitable product for the beef market so in really when you're thinking about uh, dairy beef production you're looking for a better uh, animal, uh, more flesh than you would expect from an extreme dairy type uh, and that will meet a marketplace for the, for the beef sector. Well, there is a view in the meat industry that the, that the eating quality and, the, and that the general quality of the carcass and the meat isn't as good, but that is not true, no. The yield is slightly less because the, uh, there's a bit more bone in them, but the eating quality, as I say, the tenderness, juiciness and flavour is very good indeed. And in fact, if you take a Holstein animal to the same level of fat as, as any other breed, they've got more fat in the structure of the muscle, more marbling fat, which is very good for eating quality. So this is a plus factor for the Holstein. Blade farming supply abattoirs, in this case Southern Counties Fresh Foods, that supply ultimately the retailers and uh, burger manufacturers, and it will go into that supply chain because it's good, high welfare, farm assured beef. We have them here for about um, 12, less than 12 months, 10 to 12 months. We have them in at 14 weeks of age, and we aim to get them out about 14 months finished, at about 560 kilos live weight, something like 280 to 290 dead weight. We know that uh, people like Compassion and World Farming and other lobby groups are very keen for us to develop a system that reduces the amount of calves that are shot on farm, farmers are as well. So this is the very start of it and we're very optimistic about the uptake of the scheme.